Okay, hello, my dear student. Uh, this is Samar Bilsar in front of you, and today this video is for the student of class sixth. And in this video, I'm going to discuss the first chapter from your Khanikam book, and the name of the chapter is Who Did Patrick Homework? Okay, and this is written by the Carlo Mori. Okay, let me get started our chapter. Before you read, look at the top. Okay, my dear student, if you have your book, take it out. And if you don't have, look at the video. And I am showing you the PDF file of this chapter in this video itself. Okay, so let us start. There are some questions for you, first of all. And the questions are, do you like homework? Do you do it yourself or do you get help? What homework do you usually have? Okay, these are the questions for you. Do you like homework? Yes, I know you don't like, but I can't hear you right now. So uh, drop your answer down in the comment box and let me know. Okay, and I will check it out there. Okay, uh, who did Patrick homework? Patrick is a name of a boy, name of a student who never did his homework. So, what happened in this story? Let us discuss. Patrick never did homework to boarding his set. He played hockey and basketball, Nintendo and Nintendo instead. His teacher told him, Patrick, do your homework or you won't learn a thing. And it's true, sometimes he, he did feel like an ignoramus, but what could he do? He ended home now. So Patrick is the name of a boy, is the name of a lazy boy who never did his homework. He said uh, it's too boring. Instead of doing homework, he used to play football, play uh, basketball, hockey, different different types of types of game he used to play. Nintendo, a uh, Nintendo, uh, it is a type of a video game. Okay, so instead of doing homework, he used to play games and his teacher already warned him, do your homework, otherwise you will fail, or otherwise you will learn nothing. Then also, he never did his homework, because he hated homework. Okay, next paragraph. Then one day, he found his cat playing with a little dog, and he grabbed it away. To his surprise, it was not, it wasn't a dog, but a man of a tiny size. He had a little wool shirt with old-fashioned breeches and a high tall hat, much like which he yelled, save me, don't give me back to that cat, I will grant you a wish, I promise you that. Now, so what happened? So one day, Patrick saw his cat, or he found his cat, playing with a doll. And when he saw it, when he saw it, what happened? He grabbed it away. He took it away. And when he took it away, and when he grabbed that doll, he was surprised. Why? Because it was not a doll. But it was... It was... A man of a tiny size. And that tiny man was wearing woolen shirt with a old face and breeches. Breeches means a type of a trouser with a hat. Okay, so he was looking like a witch. Witch means a man having a super power. Okay, so he was surprised after having that elf, that tiny sized man. And that man shouted for help. He yelled, save me. Please don't give me back to that cat. Otherwise, that cat may kill me. And he was begging help in front of Patrick. And he said that, if you help me, I will help you to do your work in whatever field you want. Okay, so that help was begging, that elf was begging help 
and he was ready to help uh, Patrick in whatever field he wanted. Okay, next part. Let us see. Patrick couldn't believe how lucky he was. Here was the answer to all of his problem. So he said, "Only if you do all my homework till the end of the semester. That's 35 days. If you do a good enough job, I could even get A's." Now, what happened? So you know, Patrick could not believe. Patrick was thinking, luckiest person um, after having that Alf. because he was in a problem and what was his problem his problem was to do homework and his examination is about to begin so there was a problem and he was feeling happy after having that okay so he told that al i will save you if you will help me or if you do my homework then only i will save you from that camp So Patrick was saying in this way. Next paragraph. Let us see what happened. Tiny, the little man, face wrinkled like a disclosed throne in the hamper. He kicked his leg and doubled his fist, and he cracked and scowled and pulled his lips. Oh, am I crazy? But I will do it. Okay. So what happened here? Here, when that little man. Uh, here that after hearing that after hearing patrick the little man was showing his anger he was showing his anger his face began to wrinkle he kicked his uh, he kicked uh, his leg and doubled his fist and grammat and scowled grammat and scowled means um, showing his anger okay uh, so what happened So he was the, that little man was showing his anger. Why he was showing his anger? He was showing anger because he don't know how to do homework. He never went to school, and he don't know what is homework, how to do it. Okay, so that's why he was showing his anger. The phrase, uh, the kind of phrase uh, used in that paragraph is uh, what? Uh, Wrinkled like a disclosed throat. thrown in the hamper means what means this is the kind of phrase uh, which is used to show the facial expression of that little man okay so he was not feeling good but he already promised he have to do his work let us see what happened next and true to his word and and true to his word the little at uh, that little al begin to do patrick homework except there was one glitch the al don't always know what to do and he needed help 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 me help me he heard say and patrick would have to help in whatever way now whatever so uh that al was to do his work and he decided to do his homework and but there was a glitch glitch means a problem there was a problem what was the problem problem was al don't know how to do homework and whenever he start doing his homework he always shouted for help and patrick would have to help him in whatever way okay so So what happened? I don't know. This what the Al is quaked while reading Patrick's homework, or why uh, and get a get a dictionary. No, what's even better? Look up the word and sound it out by its letter. Now what happened? Whenever Al started doing Patrick homework, he always used to sound squeezed him in sound. Okay, so he used to sound. and patrick have to help him out there he always um, asked for the dictionary he always wants help what was this what was that get the dictionary and read out it but he don't know how to search the word in dictionary also 
and Patrick uh, eventually what happened Patrick himself uh, had to read the word and Patrick himself had to help him Patrick himself uh, had to search the word in the dictionary okay so uh, after this uh, we did Patrick is a lazy boy he never did his homework because he hated to do homework okay so one day he saw his cat was playing with a doll and when he grabbed it he was surprised that that was not a doll but it was a man of a tiny size and that tiny man al shouted help begging help that save me from that cat please don't give me back to that cat and what happened uh, that uh, al was saying don't give me back to that cat and i will help you i will promise i will help you in whatever field you want and patrick was feeling very happy he never did homework he hated homework and he told that al if you do my homework that only i will save you from the cat and that al was ready for the how but there was also a problem al did not know how to do homework and in while uh, whenever al started doing patrick's homework he always sought for help he always used to ask question what is this what is that get me to this navy and he also even don't know how to uh, source what in the dictionary and eventually what happened patrick would have to help that al in whatever way he had to uh, source the word in dictionary and he had to spoke it out okay now that means eventually patrick was himself doing his homework okay so uh, i hope you understood and if there is any confusion um, make me call uh do whatsapp okay i will ready to help you there if you have any question uh, put your question down there in your comment i will i am ready to help you so for today this much and i will continue the chapter in my next video um, and i will sort out all the questions and i will give you some important word meanings from this chapter also so till then stay safe stay home and have a good day thank you very much